not the prettiest thing in the world, but I mean, hey. It looks crazy when you open it, but who's opening my cabinets? So I'm just gonna keep going. Pause. If you ain't like, comment, subscribe, share, or ring that bell so you're notified every single time I post a video, I don't know what you're doing. Oh, you did it already? All right, proceed. using packaging tape. <laughs> hey, it keeps it down so that this doesn't start happening. This is what happened the next day. I saw that it was starting to come out, come undone on the bottom side. So this will hold it. So I'm using my clear tape, my duct tape, and I'm taping the poster board to the poster board. So I slightly, like very slightly overlap the poster board, maybe like honestly less than a half an inch. And the purpose of taping it is just so that, that they don't move around and the poster board is less likely to slide around if it's one big thing. And whenever they curve upward, I just flip them. It really doesn't matter what side you stick the tile to, it's gonna stick regardless. I'm literally just gonna start here and work my way back. I realize it's easier to put it on the side. I should have known better. So I just kind of measured it and copied it out. So I'm going to cut it with the knife. Bend it off. Bend up. There we go. Not the cleanest, but who cares? Because it's going to be under the stove. So I'm going to do that for the rest. 
I cut it a little sloppy, but who cares? And it fits. And the last step here is the backsplash. So I bought these. They're like, I want a mirrored backsplash. So it's nine by six. And when I peel it, you get a mirror. I'm gonna cut the poster board to the dimensions of this wall. So after I connect the mirror to the poster board, I'm going to then use my command strip to stick it to the wall. So that's my plan. I ordered three packs of this from Amazon. The link will be in the bio. So it came like this. I got three of these. I might try to piece it out on the floor just to make sure that it works. And then I'll go from there. This is where the mirror is gonna fall. It's actually not enough to cover the whole countertop. I mean, the whole backsplash, but that's okay. I'm just gonna go with this. Hopefully it doesn't look weird. We'll see. Um, I used box cutter to cut out where this is, and I actually bought a new one just so it could kind of go with the mirror look. I'm cutting out the hole for this outlet. I already did this one. Another square fell off, so I'm gonna fix that after. So I'm using this to trace. I actually used the, uh, the box cutter and I just cut along this one, and that's how I get my hole. There was an adhesive backing. This white part is supposed to come off. It's real sticky too, real sticky. So all these tiles here, all the ones that kept popping off, all that was for no reason. Yep, they have adhesive backings. Woo, all right. It's tired, I said it's tired. I'm tired, see, I'm clearly tired. Ooh, this looks kinda cool. Ooh, it's like a fun house. All right, y'all, I'm gonna finish this up. You'll see the final product. I'm going up with the mirror. I decided I don't wanna go this way anymore. Yeah, so I'm just gonna fill this whole thing up. The thing is, I have these plants that I never hung. It's fake, but I'm using it to kind of distract from the fact that the mirror doesn't go all the way up. And also to distract from the fact that these are small squares and these are rectangles. And honestly, you don't notice. No one's looking that hard. 